Hey guys, welcome back to another Black Mass adventure. So tonight, me and Josh from the, where's he at? There he is. The, the, the Paranormal Show and Para Explorers have came out to Kodak, Tennessee. Now, this is one of my favorite locations because this house right here, in my opinion, is the most haunted house in Tennessee. And yes, that's saying a lot because, you know, I've been to Brushy Mountain. I've been to all kinds of crazy locations where I've caught some amazing activity. Now, this location, honest to God, scares me. Um, I've been out here on a couple of locations or a couple of occasions and I have caught some really, really interesting stuff. Um, the land that we are on was owned by the Kellys. They were known for uh, growing watermelons. They were legit farmers uh, right here on this peninsula at the French Broad River. Now, something really special about this land is that it was inhabited by the Native Americans. Now, they used this land for lots of different things, mainly hunting. However, there was a massive battle that took place here. So again, I'm back at another Native American type haunting and this place is legit. So if you all hear or see anything that maybe I miss, y'all please let me know down in the comments. So I was thinking about um, doing an episode maybe and pulling some of the uh, comments out where people have put out stuff. So if you want to get a special shout out, that'd be a perfect time to do it. So hope y'all enjoy. This is Kelly Farmhouse. It's actually from the 1800s, early 1800s, when this was built. So, these rocking chairs are known to rock on their own. I've seen them rock on their own on multiple occasions. There is a shadow figure. It is upstairs. Unfortunately, uh, it's padlocked. Now this room here is another highly active room because it's actually right under where the shadow figure entity lives. The energy here is just Unreal. I'm sure you all can feel it through the screen. I can feel it in my chest. Yeah, it's heavy, man. That was interesting. All right. So this is the front living room here. Assume this next room would have probably been the kitchen. I just had a light drop get drawn. Look at that. Huh. But this room over here is the scariest room in the house. And it's good for a good reason. This right here, as you can see. There's two doors. Now, not a lot of people know, but in early Americana, in early, in early Western Europe, they developed these houses like this. So when a person died, they would have a door to exit out of. So during the day, you know, normal day living, you would come in and out of this door. And then after you passed away, you were brought out through this door. Now, I personally, in this 
outside of this window and running through here, I have seen a little girl. There was a girl, little girl who died here. So it's a pretty intense place. So then we'll go around back. As you can see tonight is a full moon. I wonder if it, is it considered a blood moon? I think it's like a, I think it's supposed to be a total eclipse. So here is the well that uh, the little girl fell into and passed away. Um, I'm going to try to avoid that area over here. All of this land was Native American. And in that window there, there's been shadow figures seen moving. It's a creepy one too, man. He's showed up like right on top of us in here. Like legit. Like, I mean... Yeah. To the right. Yeah. In this room, I thought I saw something move. Really? And I was in this room when I was getting ready for an intro. I was like, man, it was like, I'm like, what the hell? And it's yeah. funny that you said that that room yep. is, is the where the, the spot is. Yeah. There's also an attic in there. It's like right here that you can get into. Um, yeah. But it's blocked off right now. So, I don't know. I don't know if I want to Rambo it and jump the stairs because I don't want to encourage anybody else to do that. Whoa. What am I looking at? There's a moon. Ooh, there's like a. That's weird looking. I just heard somebody talking. Try. Man, I can't believe I'm back out here. Ooh, cold breeze, really cold, yeah, look at that, I can see my breath, look, you can't see mine, what the fuck was that, you can't see my breath, oh, there it goes, how did you hear it, you hear it, like a, you're like a big cloud, <laughs> I know, 
something just passed through. Dude, dude something just passed through. That was insane. That, that dude, cause you, your breath. Yeah. And mine, I'm fine right here. And yeah. we're like two, yeah. three feet apart. So that's the other side of the French Broad River. Dude, I got goosebumps. Yeah, I know. My stomach just dropped. Like hardcore. So, I'm going to go back into the house. Do you hear that? That's some music. But like, right here. I mean, it sounds like dogs, but it doesn't sound like dogs. What was weird is it almost sounded like some kind of music. It did. The other side of the house. Yeah. But then now there's that weird commotion there. Oh, I'm getting that nauseous feeling. I can feel the energy ramping up. Yeah. See down in that well. So don't step on this. I mean, I got rope, but I don't want to use it. Look at your breath. Your breath is. Dude, something's like following me. It's not me. I know. Something, things like attached to me. I've had. I've had several different types of attachments. They suck. Um, I don't know if I got one from this house, though. Um, but it's a, it's, there's a lot of Native American stuff here. Ah, uh, dude, my stomach. Mm. So my name's Brian. I've come here just to communicate. I'm not looking to cause you any harm. I'm not looking to get rid of you. If you could give me a sign that you're here, we would appreciate it. I've been here before, so you may or may not remember me. Your last sign. My name's Josh, and we're here to, we're not here to harm you. We just want to communicate with you. So please, if we could, just knock on something. That'd be a great way to show us that you're here. We just knock on a wall or floor. Give us, give us a sign. Again, we, we don't mean you any harm. If we could, just let us know you're here. Do you want us here? Or do you not want us here? Do you want us to go away? Do you want us to stay? But let us know something. Let us know you're here. Man, tapping. That was a stink bug. <laughs> I got a stink bug in my pants now. I'm not feeling a whole lot in this room. It doesn't seem to be ramping up on this side of the house. Yeah. 
where your breath is on the outside. Yeah. They're just hollow. Yeah. So, John got a shadow figure coming out of that used to be a door um, coming out of there. And then I think Josh got one over here. Oh, I just saw some movement up there. Can you tell me what year it is? Okay. All right. You've got a device here. That you can use to communicate with us by touching that device it will light up different colors if you understand could you come near this device and light it up for me all we gotta do is touch it Make the lights move. And you just say, hey, up. take that meter and put it right here. Ooh. See, that's the thing. Like, how, how can I do that? Like, what? I don't, I don't understand. Oh, you're sensitive. Yeah. It's okay. Those are interesting. Flowers don't give off EMF. No. Look at that. And there is no electrical here. It's just for the optic, too. Yeah. Were you admiring those flowers? Were you over here checking those out? Let us know. Light up these lights. Just, just touch. Touch the device. EMF off that. Oh, did you catch that? that yeah. Oh, that's huge. Stand right there. Yeah, it's around me. I can feel it. Look at that. There you go. Can you light that up more? Can you light that up for me? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I want to ask you a couple questions. Can you back away from it? Don't touch it, okay? Are you a member of the Kelly family? Dude. <laughs> okay. You only moved it a little bit, so um are you one of the Kelly sons? Are you Mr. Kelly? Are you somebody else? You 
you are somebody else? Are you a female? Are you a female? Okay. Are you a girl? Are you a little girl? Are you a child? Yes. Are you a... Okay. You're kind of lonely just a little bit since yeah. I was a child. Yeah. Is your... Was your name... Um, Sally? Was it Sue? Did your name start with an S? No. I don't feel it anymore. No. Yeah. Are you still here? Probably like a little kid, just yeah. In and out. Oh yeah, for sure. All right. Do you want me to stay in this room? I want to go in the other room. Can you follow me in there? All right. All right so we're going to walk into the other room. Um, that is, in my opinion, the scary room <clears throat> that we started out in. Probably, I bet there's a bunch of voices on there. All right. So no readings, all right? No. Okay. Now, with your your intuition, where do you feel like you might follow your follow your instincts? Mm -hmm. I kind of want to be down in this corner for some reason. Or a corner. Maybe it's this one. I'm like feeling like it's backing me up. I don't know, but I'm not, I, it's really, I'm not feeling it like I felt in there. Well, if you, if they were maybe backing you up, maybe they were trying to tell you, hey, go back or, you know. That's true. There's, there's nothing in here so far. That's true. So, no power. I know. Now, why would somebody do that? Huh. Yeah, like I, I just have this feeling like to go down in the ball. I don't, it's weird. Like. <laughs> Sunday alarm to take out the trash. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh man, I just had a black mass block out that door. Like, I know I caught that on camera. Like, it went from this room, actually. Whoa, did you hear that? It was like footsteps. Like, running. This room. This room. This room, actually. Whoa, did you hear that? It was like footsteps.
like running. It's funny because I just got it, that feeling again. I know I got the same. I lived it too. I just lit it up big time. And I saw like a dart, like just in these last couple slats. Yeah. Like just kind of go up and around in that room up there. Yeah. Like up and around. That's where it is, man. Oh my God! I hope I caught. God, I hope I caught that. I just turned and started running to it. You scared the <laughs> Sorry. daylights out of me, Sorry, man. man but dude, that was. Oh my God. That's awesome. God, I hope we caught that. I'm so glad you got to experience that here. All right. Since this is Native American land. I'm gonna walk around and just see what I can see. I'm hearing all kinds of crazy noises out here. This place is crazy scary. Look at this tree. It's absolutely beautiful.
this. And it drains me, man. Whoa. One continuous shot. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing in the room. What the fuck was that? Dude, I am 99.9% .9 sure I just caught that shadow figure. Yeah. In this room over here. On camera. I was looking at it. That's so weird. There's definitely some female in the dark shadow we've confirmed. And you've seen a little girl. Uh, spirit. I know there's more than there was multiple spirits here before you see a dog in that position. Yeah, my footage on that. So I've been walking up and down these stairs all night long. And never once did I notice a cigarette butt. And we were packing up to leave and go film. And there's a cigarette butt on the porch. So I'm going to have to come back. Or going to have to check my footage to see that if that was there. Because I would have think one of us would have knocked that over or stepped on it. I mean, it hasn't even stepped on. Well, the thing is, too, is that... It hasn't even stepped on. Well, the thing is, too, is that even stepped on well the thing is too is that it's like honestly whenever i walk up steps i walk i lead with my left yeah and so i would have thought i would have noticed that too oh no look what's underneath the steps oh wow that's not good mm. A dead rabbit. Okay, we're leaving. Do not follow us. Stay here. <laughs>